going on everybody today we are headed to the green chili festival or just the chili festival in Hatch, New Mexico oh it's gonna be a hot one coming back getting up to 98 degrees today uh, it's Saturday September 2nd like going on 10 o'clock right now so we got a little little drive ahead of us to get there now i'm gonna go back with like 20 pounds of freshly roasted green chilies they also have a wine festival in las cruces new mexico this weekend but uh, i don't do wine it's beer or whiskey for me so uh, we don't do the wine festival, but we are going to get 20 pounds of green chilies today. It is a little kind of hazy out here today. I don't know why. It's only 10 mile an hour winds, but yeah, up to 98 degrees. So that's our plan, the green chili festival. We're about ready to cross into New Mexico here in a couple minutes. game plan today the green chili festival and then I'll I'll record as much as I can once I get there but like I say every every video give you a good view of the desert it's ugly gotta say it every every video I guess because it's true it's the desert it's ugly but yeah, we're going to cross into New Mexico right up here. Yeah, I don't know why it's so hazy today. Like I said, it's only 10 mile an hour winds. Mr. Gadget has his brand new vest on. Alright, we're fixing to enter the Twilight Zone right here. Cross into New Mexico. Mexico. Anyways, I will turn this back on when we get closer to the festival and everything. We'll just turn it off and on on the way over there. But right now it's beautiful out here. I mean, temperature-wise, it's only 10 miles an hour winds. And, yeah. All right, I'll turn this back on a little bit. All righty, we just jumped on I-25 heading towards Hatch up into the Las Cruces, New Mexico. On our way to Hatch to the Chili Festival. We'll get some freshly roasted green chilies. I'm going to get at least 20 pounds of it. So I put green chilies on everything. Eggs, steaks, burgers, you name it. Green chilies. Yeah, this is the big thriving city of Las Cruces, New Mexico. There's their college right there. To the left is their college. Two exit up to the right is the Hooters. Oh yeah. You're not considered a real town if you don't have a Hooters. Just saying. But yeah, I ordered... I ordered the uh, new Clockworks 8.5 windshield just before we go to Tucson because, yeah, this this windshield is like a half inch to an inch too short. So I ordered taller wood for the longer trips. And it, uh, I mean, it's great getting getting there in the helmet, but, yeah. But my neck will be sore after sitting there and do hours, hours on, it, on end with the Wind hitting the top of the helmet. Well, yeah, this is Las Cruces, New Mexico. On our way to Hatch to the Chili Festival. Got one of those wind turbine oversized loads in front of us. But I'll turn it back on when we get closer. See you in a little bit. 
Alrighty, we are taking a quick little water break. Yeah, I put my Rick Rack bag on here because I'm going to come back with 20 pounds of uh, green chilies. I don't know how much Mr. Gadget's going to bring back. You've been on your seat for over an hour. How you like your saddleman now? But anyways, we are still on our way to the Green Chili Fest. Just a quick little water break here. And we'll get we'll turn it back on after a while. We are just now getting to hatch. Green chat, green chili capital of the world. Got an oversized load escort. Coming in here. Because I'll say it since he can't hear me because Mr. Gadget's an oversized load. There, I said it. <laughs> now to see where this green ch chili festival is going to be held. They set on the website three different spots so I guess we just got to follow the line of cars here we should find it we got all day to find it oh yeah there's nothing better than freshly roasted green chilies you get like 20 pounds of it keeps them out freeze the rest yeah I, I ate a lot of green chilies so that's why I definitely come to the green chili festival I mean, the original plan was to go up to Four Quarters up in Durango, Colorado for the bike rally, but yeah. With all the shootings lately, yeah, I'm just going to let the bike rallies chill out with the cops, so. So I came here. It's like 87 degrees right now. It's going to get up to 98, so yeah. Really don't plan on staying there too awfully long because we got a long ride back in the heat. But yeah, my arms are starting to get a little bit warm. I had to, I had to put all kinds of sunscreen on them. Oh, we're going to have a mess up here, it looks like. Hopefully we won't have to walk too damn far. I'm lazy. But yeah, there's no way we're going to get Sparkies today for, for a green chili double. There's just no way. There's going to be too many people here. Yeah, they got green chili stands all over all over this place. Yeah, I bought some of those little like sleep things that Mr. Gadget has on right now. I'm about to have to put those out on the way back. My arms are getting warm. And also this weekend, they're having a wine fest at Las Cruces. But, uh, like I was saying earlier, earlier, I don't do wine. Holy cow. Every single one of their gas pumps is filled. Oh shit. Is, yeah, this is the Green Chili Festival here. Parking gonna be. Really 
don't want to park in dirt. A nice little parking spot here. We are walking to the Chili Fest now. We finally found some parking. All right, you had your butt and your saddlebed seat. Tell the people how you like it. I, I, I do, I like it. It's uh, definitely better than stock. I think it's already softened up a little bit. Time will tell. I don't have much butt to sit on no way. <laughs> well, I was saying that that oversized escort we had coming in was for you. <laughs> oh, and speaking of lions, I'm wearing your shirt today. Wearing your shirt today, Mr. Lions. Thank you again for getting that for us. All right, I'm going to turn this off till we get inside here. These knees and rubs. There you go, some of those wrestling mat masks for when I try to win my shirt back. I'm not shaking too bad with my walking. Big ass turkey legs. Roasted corn. And a bubble maker. Well, look at the line for that barbecue, but they must be pretty good. Sounds good too. Oh, the shade's nice though. It was starting to get a little warm on the arms. Some more barbecue straight ahead, it looks like. Some hats over there. Wings Texas Barbecue. <laughs> oh, here we go with the fire roasted hatch. We're at. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> well, I guess they're gonna have a band or something. Oh, 
Being the chili fans, I don't see anybody roasting chilies, do you? Well. Uh, that was good. Smells like the barbecue. nothing around here. Just crap. <laughs> yeah, I know. I laugh at that barbecue. It must be pretty good. Yeah, me either. Of your funnel cake. I guess we're gonna have to go to somewhere on the main drag there for the chilies. You want to stand in line for a brisket sandwich or you want to wait? Did you want to stand in line for a brisket sandwich or did you want to wait? Okay. I mean, I know there's no way I'm going to be able to get into Sparky's today. Uh, where was those? Oh, this one here. You... Oh, let's see your shirt. Someone liked it. Built in the 50s. Unrestored stuff, parts still working order. <laughs> Record you doing it? Yeah. Right, he's gonna throw these green chilies in the roaster. Hopefully, I can fit a ball on the bike.
So when when do all these chilies get picked, anyways? Uh, oh, okay. Language barrier. I was asking, when do all these chilies get picked? I mean, because of the chili fest this weekend, I mean, I didn't know how, how soon they pick them or whatever. Oh, okay. And then they go all the way to November. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. to get hot out here. Got some freshly roasted green chilies right here. And they are the hot woods. Hopefully I can fit them all on the bike. <laughs> Oh, they smell good. I will keep some out and freeze the rest for later when, when I'm ready for them. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hopefully, I can get this all squeezed on the bike. I don't know. Oh, it's got to make this sucker top heavy. Yeah, they're hot. <laughs> Good thing I brought some extra garbage bags. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze all these on, on my bike. All right, we are leaving the Chili Fest. There was just another back there that we wanted. I got my 20 pounds of green chilies. Oh my God, the freezer bags at home. But yeah, it's going to be hitting 98, so we're heading back to the house already because it's starting to get hot. There's the Hatch Green Chili Festival. It's at th actually three different areas. That's the closest one to the road here, so that's why we went to that one. But it's at three different locations today.
there I put those chilies and like I brought three other hefty garbage bags to put it in they were still hot good thing I brought that Rick Rock bag or I never would have fit them on there Right now it's not too bad moving. At least we got some cloud cover. It was supposed to be clear today, but uh, it's starting to get hot. So who knows what we'll do the rest of this weekend other than drink a beer and get in trouble somewhere. was the Green Chili Festival. We're going to be heading back before it gets too hot. It's already starting to get dehydrated a little bit. We'll turn the camera on later. See ya. Sorry y'all. It got so hot that my GoPro mount came undone from my helmet. I was lucky enough to catch the GoPro so I didn't get any more footage. It's getting hot. We're at Whataburger right now. I'm going to get a Green Chili Double but yeah. I wasn't able to get any more footage because my GoPro came off my helmet mount, so. All right, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you all later. See ya.